What's going on, everybody? It is your boy, John from the Game Dude here, welcoming you to another episode of Danganronpa V3! Killing Harmony. In the la last episode, we had a crazy end to investigation, and they literally, they had me on the, the ropes thinking that there was a triple kill. That's why we're staring at the wall, literally recovering from what just happened, because we had to kind of gather ourselves. Um, but yeah. So we have to go to the trial room, and you know, I almost did my whole run around and do absolutely nothing and just kind of do the thing but i was nice i decided you know we're already high enough level we're already good it's not like that's a problem however i might just like i might get to level 100 before the end of this which is crazy to think about that that's even in a possibility but yeah we are gonna fast travel all the way to the courtyard and the plaza in the front of the investigation room. I cannot believe that, like I said, I cannot believe we're already here. It's wild, it's insane. But the Shrine of Judgment, pulling that Monokuma statue, and here we are. Gosh, this the cast is starting to shrink now. Oh dear. It would appear that we have all gathered, but it seems there's less and less of us. Oh. Less friends means it's much harder to solve mystery. Don't worry. Well, don't worry. I'm sure you've gotten us a lot smarter by now, Ganta. Mm. Yeah, Ganta do his best to help. Mm. I'd want you to graduate from the super idiot level, at least the kind of idiot level. What? Hey, what is that supposed to mean? Okay? Most importantly, are you okay, Kaido? Ah. Yeah, I'm feeling better now. But wow, Maki Roll does certainly pack a punch. I know. It's your fault. <laughs> Don't worry, or you don't need to worry about our dwindling numbers. Only oh, dipshits have died so far, uh, Tango, uh, would like to say otherwise. That being said... I know it's a tall order, but try and use your brains this time so I don't have to use mine. Booyah! The golden brain cells of mine are a gift to this entire world. Unacceptable. It is as though every time you open your mouth, you become less likable. Rest in peace. Atua, please. Please lend us your power. But... It may be difficult for us to rely upon Atua, considering what has happened to Angie, who Atua loved most of all. Well, you know. She shouldn't have relied on Atua in the first place. Facts, Kokichi. Spit the facts. But seriously, it's especially funny seeing a robot believe in a god, especially Atua. I also. So what? Robots can, can believe in gods? Indeed. Actually, before I even met Angie, I had a similar experience. Hearing voices, I mean. <laughs> you might just call it an inner voice, but it tells me what to do whatever, or what to do whenever I'm in trouble. How long are you going to say that for? Atua and ghosts don't matter right now. Jeez. Yeah, this trial is gonna be uh, rough, but we got a, uh, but we got caught in Monokuma's, huh? Monokuma's trap. His trap. That's right. He probably made the fourth floor so scary on purpose to prevent me from investigating. I'm right already. No, he didn't. Facts. I mean, like honestly, I'm with Maki. Yeah. Like, I might, I might be, uh, I might have a, a new side. <laughs> Crazy enough. Um, yeah, there's no way. Hey, so... Shuichi, say something! Huh? I can't. What do you want me to say? Facts, what do you want us to say? We're gonna talk on the Monokuma statue and get this started, honestly. I don't think there's anything else I can really talk to characters about. The only one I would really want to talk to is Kokichi, ironically enough. But, that's, and I tell you, I, like, I actually like Kokichi. Like, Kokichi moved up a shoop ton this chapter, just saying. So, <laughs> rumble, rumble, rumble. Like, I actually might want to spend free time with Kokichi. <laughs> he definitely moved up this chapter. Crazy. Obviously, our main focus is right now are Maki and Kaido for free time. Uh, and Mew. We have so many focuses for free time. It's kind of crazy. Like I so said, all these characters have written really well. As usual, we walk toward the elevator in silence. As soon as we, re uh, as soon as we remaining survivors stepped into our stepped aboard, the elevator went down. We descended. It's crazy. Like there's still quite a bit of us, right? And that's the cool thing. But in a chapter or two, when we get to like the final seven, final eight, it's gonna cr be crazy. Perhaps because there was few of us, the elevator seemed to move faster. So we fell faster and faster, downward, into the black. 
The elevator stopped, and just like always, the door parted slowly. The light that shines on us from the other side, the bright light of our future. Or is it? Uh-oh. Boy, they look so depressed. Uh, must be because there's less participants now. Oh. Don't say they look depressed. You'll make Monodom sad. <laughs> <laughs> as much as I would love to keep hearing about this adorable back and forth. Oh, come on, me. Hit buttons correctly. Now, Let's hurry up and get this started. <laughs> At last, the class trial will begin. I hope you enjoyed it to your heart's content. Oh, we will, Monokuma. The third class trial was about to begin. Angie Onaga, the ultimate artist, she created the Ultimate Academy Student Council just to prevent this killing game. And then, Tenko Chabashira, the Ultimate Akita Master. She hated men, but I knew that she hated this terrible killing game even more. The two were killed, both trying to stop the killing. Wow, that row is almost gone! Crazy, okay. Was it one person? Oh, did I? Was it one person, chat? We'll find out. Oh, uh, or was it two different people? I don't think they're keeping this row entirely intact. I honestly, one of one of these four, I I, I believe Maki's safe. I one of these four are going. I'm hoping that's not the case, but one of these four are absolutely going. We we can't have an entire row not intact. My prediction was Kyo to start, and it definitely could be, but with him being in the Sam's room and it being underground, it could definitely be Kibo as well. So those are the two that I'm gonna keep focus on is Kibo and uh Kyo, but we'll see. We need to pin down or pin that down in the class trial. In order to live, we have to find the truth. It's probably one person, and I will fight for it. I will fight with truth and lies in this class trial. I can't believe it. Truth and lies. The fact that they're pointing that out, they know anymore, that is. We only have five different flowers. So I don't think we can really buy much. We'll add that to our skill list. Begin the trial. Yep. <laughs> now then, let's begin with the basic explanation of the class trial. During the trial, you'll present your arguments for who the culprit is and vote for who done it. I'm like, I'm like periodically looking at seeing how loud the game audio is. I think it's fine. Vote correctly, and only the blackened will be punished. But if you pick the wrong person, I'll punish everyone besides the blackened, and that person will graduate from this academy. Also, refusing to vote will result in your death. So you better vote for someone. Now, smiles, everyone! It's showtime! Let's get this crazy awesome trial underway! It's so crazy to see. I didn't notice it, I don't think, um, with Mono... Mono, Mono Kid, but Mono Suke, the fact that they have their exes, too. Sorry, everyone. I don't think I'm gonna be much help this time. You know what? I'm okay with you openly admitting it. Because of Monokuma's disruptions, I couldn't do a thorough investigation. I can tell Monokuma is overcompensating to hide his self-consciousness. <laughs> Next time, spend less time fixing your hair and more time investigating, spaceman! Shut up! I don't need to hear some comedy act from you two weirdos. Dot dot dot. Oh, Himiko! Are you gonna speak up first? Who did it? Oh! <laughs> I need more of this version of Himiko. What? 
Who killed Angie and Tenko? <laughs> Do not let your emotions hasten your judgment. There may be two killers. I ag I agree, but also disagree because dang it, up a logic. But I get where they're going. So, our other culprit might not be one of us here. Hmm? What do you mean? The transfer student. What? Maybe our resurrected transfer student dragged Angie and Tenko into the grave. Stop it! Stop making stuff up! Say something, Shuichi. It'll be a mess if this keeps going on. <laughs> True. <clears throat> is it even possible for the revived corpse to be the culprit? It is not because the Nebuchadnezzar was not burned. Well, uh, I should... In the interest of being thorough, I should clear things up right here. Is it going to be argument? Yes, it is. Necromonicon, if we have it. Because it did not get burned. Yes, it is. Cool. This crime was committed by the recently deceased. They came back to life and killed two of our classmates. Okay. that's. I, I wanted to make sure I knew the button because I haven't played this in a minute. Ritual did work? No, it didn't. It didn't. It didn't. That's wrong. V counter immediately. Let's go. Okay, we're here. Okay. I don't think Angie's ritual succeeded. It did not. We know that. According to the Necronomicon Monokuma showed us, you have to burn the Necronomicon in the ritual. After preparing the FRG, burn the Necronomicon to ashes. Be cautious and mindful of the mo carbon monoxide poisoning. Sprinkle the ashes on the effigy and repeat the name of the deceased three times. If Angie's ritual had succeeded, the book would have been gone. Yep. So she must have been killed before the ritual was complete, since the book was still intact. Yep. Then, going to think Rantaro probably not culprit. <laughs> nope. No, he's not. Oh, I guess you're right. Well, duh. There's no way a dead person could resurrect. Now, hold on a second. I can't let that comment stand. Whoa, Monokuma. Whoa. Sure, everybody knows that you can't bring the dead back to life. But it's easy at the Ultimate Academy. As long as you use the Necronomicon. What are you talking about? There's no way that's possible. I love the shaking effect in this trial. There's a lot more of that. But it's true. I never lie about motives. That's fair. Daddy said so, so he can't be wrong. Raising the dead is totally possible. Man, I can't believe you guys wasted such a perfectly good motive. You should have let me use it to bring Monodom back to life. Monodom is still what? Monodom is still alive, though. Thank you, Monofane. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I wouldn't waste a resurrection on Monodom's corpse. He's alive. Oh, so resurrecting the dead was actually possible this whole time? There's no way it's possible. There's no way that could happen, idiots. Monokuma is trying to confuse us. Wait. Angie. <laughs> Angie's dead portrait. <laughs> it's got the little angel. <laughs> That's amazing. That's actually amazing. Oh my god, I'm here for that. Let's hurry up and find out who the blackened is. If our transfer student isn't the culprit, then blame falls to one of us. Who? Who did it? Step aside, Half Pint. I'll handle this. I don't know about Tenko, but I'm pretty fucking sure Keo murdered Angie. Wow, Mew. You're gonna just throw Keo 
to the wolves like that. I mean, I... Again, I know Kyo is on my suspicion list, but I'm surprised you're throwing him in the, under the bus that quickly. What? Why? Don't play dumb with me, creep show. I already know what happened. But the... I, I'm assuming you're going to point to the murder weapon. But there's no way to completely secure that thought process. The katana's there. The culprit used a katana to kill Angie. And it was found in Keo's research lab. Which makes you, Keo, automatically suspicious. But anyone could have taken that katana, you see. So that rusty katana was the murder weapon. You were the only one who cared about that thing, Keo. I did not care about some katana. Ah, you did, though. Just admit it, you shit-eating worm. You went to the classroom, broke in, uh, and murdered the fuck out of Angie. Samugi's account. Samugi's account. Genius. Is Kia really the culprit? Does that story fit the facts of the case? We should think about it from the beginning. You went to the classroom. No. Broke in. There we go. Cool. I didn't get a V counter, but. We're, we, we are here. Okay. No, Keo would not have been able to enter Angie's lab. He doesn't have the lockpicking skill. Nor... Yeah. Isn't that right, Tsumugi? Yeah. Before Angie locked herself up in her research lab, she said she wasn't going to open up for anyone but student council members. And Keo is not a member. She wouldn't have opened the door for him. Nope. Keo couldn't have killed Angie even if he wanted to. I had no desire to kill her in the first place. True, true. So whoever killed Angie must have been one of the student council members, yeah? It's very likely, yes. I, I was doing a bit to lead you to the right answer. Totally. Yeah, you actually got it. Totally. Oh, how clever. I love when the characters are like, I was just, you know, pretending this whole time. It's like, no, you you literally viscerally reacted. You were not pretending, but good 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 try, guys. You can just ignore her, Gonta. Yep. I'm with you, Samugi. <laughs> the remaining student council members are Gonta, Kibo, Samugi, and Himiko. Yeah, I don't again. Out of those four, Kibo is my thought process. I don't... And, and Himiko is, like, the wild card. But I doubt it's her. Well, it can't be Himiko. She was besties with Angie. But that's why it could be Himiko. I trust their friendship. You guys do too, right? I, I am loving this man. I don't know. I don't know. But his brain... Like, he's, he, I love that he is logical enough to point out the idiosyncrasies and wild thought processes that most people wouldn't point out. Yeah, of course. That's not what he means, Gonta. He wants Can to investigate this further. Friendship so readily? Thank you, Kokichi, for bringing these kind of questions on the table. Obviously, let's believe in them. That trims our list of suspects down to three. Gonta, Samugi, and Kibo. Yep, yep. The culprit is one of those three people. They wouldn't knock it down that quickly. You mean one of those two people. Because a robot ain't people, Jack. Ho, 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 ho. I will let that remark slide. Anyway, aren't these accusations just a tad too hasty? I agree, but also understand the accusations. What ifs? The culprit should confess already. Gonta, Keyboy, or Samugi. Well? No, not Gonta. Gonta would never kill Angie. Panic debate already. Yeah, Gonta's a gentleman. You shouldn't suspect either of us. Hey, stick up for me too. Gonta definitely not hurt anyone. Torture Gonta if you don't believe. Torture might be a bit too far, 
But Goncho and I aren't the culprits. So why are we not defending Kibo though? And I'm not the culprit either. Jeez. That's what's interesting. I mean, I get that um, Gonta and uh, Samugi were like together the entire trial so they could be alibis for each other. But it's crazy to me that neither of them have even given a shadow of a doubt. Uh, like, and th to throw a Kibo under the bus. And I kind of feel, like, I feel bad for Kibo. Especially if he's the one that did it. But. I'm not, not, the culprit. not the culprit. We have a lot of options. Front door, back door, lock picking. Necromonicon's already been used. You must Smugu. consider other possibilities. Surely there must be a suspect who will not betray student council. It's utterly impossible. A dead chick can't be the culprit. Or only student council members had access. Out late, student I didn't council. Know robots told such boring lies. Is that a robophobic remark? Wow, there's so much. I actually, I actually think that my skill is hurting me. The 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 skill that I put on because that's crazy. I put on this skill to like not distract myself. But in a weird freaking way, a weird twisted way, being able to hear everything go on allows you to pinpoint it a little bit better. That, I might need to unequip that skill. Wow. <laughs> uh, okay. You must consider other possibilities. Gentlemen, not betray student council. And do you have an alibi? Not just anyone could open it. Why? It's not that far-fetched. Only student members can open the student council. Bug friends have told such gota. I can't. Robophobic remark. We must consider other possibilities. Surely there must be a suspect who will not betray student council. That's utterly impossible. Not just anyone could open that door. Only student council members had access. I heard it. No, it wasn't just student council members that could have opened that lab door. Yup. Hmm. What was it you said earlier about Kyo opening the door, Shuichi? Unless you're a student council member, you can't enter Angie's lab, right? Except for one other person. I was referring to Keo. He couldn't have done it, but you could have. Because I saw you open the classroom lock by picking it. Kokichi pulled out some thin needles and stuck them into the keyhole of the lock. Click, click, click. Clack. There! Open says me! Oh, that happened? I totally forgot. Yeah, you did. So you're going to pretend you don't remember, huh? <laughs> yes, Maki! Get him! <laughs> Quit glaring at me like that. Of course I remember. Yeah, I did it. I killed Angie. Mm-hmm. Totally. Huh? Wait, what? What did you just say? I, I don't believe a word of this. I don't believe a word of what Kokichi is saying right now. Like, no. I picked the lock to her lab, snuck into the room, and then, wham! Killed Angie. The culprit was me all along. I don't believe him. What? What? I don't believe him. Although it is funny, it would be funny if it is him, because I literally said that I would literally white knight for him if he did kill, <laughs> which is hilarious. But, um, like, okay, oh I, I don't believe him. What are you saying? Is this some kind of joke? Yeah, he is treating it like a joke. Nah, no joke. I thought that if I confessed, I could atone for my sins. And it helped. I feel so much better. Whew! I don't believe him. Wait, 
So Kokichi really is culprit? I don't believe him. No, he's lying. I think. Maybe? He's lying. I'm certain of it. Yeah. No, no. Definitely not a lie. I killed Angie. Shouldn't you guys believe the culprit when they confess? Then let me ask you, culprit. How did you lock the room? <laughs> Facts. Huh? It's the same as opening it. You pick the door closed from the outside. No, that doesn't make sense. Thank you. Huh? What does it make sense? Can't you lock a door by picking it? Maybe, but that's not how the culprit locked the room. They used a different method. Yes, they did. What different method? Yeah, Mumbles. Use your big boy voice and explain yourself. <laughs> Damn, Mew. <laughs> uh, there were two doors to the classroom, and the one locked last was... Ah, uh, the, the back door. That's it. I said that so confidently. <laughs> back door. That's how they made this a locked room mystery. The back door had a sliding lock, yes. How was it locked from the outside? The culprit used a certain tool. The tool that the culprit used to lock the sliding door from the outside was... Mind mine! Oh god, okay. I was not expecting having this now. Ah, uh, bop, bop, bop. Oh, this is the sickle, right? Let's see if I can unlock the sickle. Uh, I need to, I can't turn both of those yellow. I've already fucked that up. Okay. Oh, that's the sheath. Is there more? No. Oh my god, I want to kill myself! <laughs> okay, that's hilarious. Oh, there's the sickle right there. I didn't... Okay. So, how did they use the katana? The gold leaf katana that was stabbed into Kaede's effigy. I, okay, well, how, how? The culprit used that to hit the knob of the sliding lock to lock the door. So the gold leaf was on the sliding lock because... Because when the katana hit the lock, some of the gold leaf rubbed off on it. The gold leaf on that katana did peel rather easily. Hmm, that evidence rings a bell. Specifically, a school bell. Huh? Are you talking about a different school? What school was it? Now, now, that doesn't matter anymore. Let's not dwell on the past. Ooh, the gold leaf landed on the sliding lock when the katana touched it. <laughs> also, the DR1 reference ran, runs thick there. So that means the culprit used the katana to move the sliding lock, right? 
But wait, how did they move it with a katana? And from outside Angie's lab? That's why I didn't think it was the katana. The clue that might give us the answer is the layout of the area itself. It was an odd setup after all. The katana stabbed into the effigy. The effigies hung upside down. Angie didn't do that as part of the ritual? No. Nowhere in the Necronomicon did it say you had to hang the effigies. If it was not part of the ritual, then it must have been for a different purpose, right? What different purpose? What could that have been? The culprit somehow used the setup to lock the room. In that case, I need to know what the reason behind every step of that setup was. If I do that, the way the culprit locked the room should become clear.